new, it's amazing, it's Paper Wars on the Pandora. It's fun, it's strategy, it's a lot like Advance Wars, but not really. It looks like it's made out of paper, and that's crazy. It's super fun, but you should think about it a little bit differently. This video will introduce you to some of the new ideas in Paper Wars and how you should approach Paper Wars a little bit differently than maybe other strategy games that you are used to playing. First up, the game Paper Wars is balanced like a rock-paper-scissors game. The tank is a rock, the helicopter is paper, and the soldier is scissors. You should keep that in mind when you choose which units to verse against other units. So when playing in a match in Paper Wars, your very first goal, or your initial goal, should be to gain access to all three units. So you should first try to get access to the helicopter pad. You want to create a squad of three units, at least, that have one of each unit. One helicopter, one tank, one soldier. A squad of three different units is more powerful than three tanks. And this is very important. If you have a three-unit squad with each unit, you are prepared for any situation that you will come across. Next, you might have some units that have been damaged. Well, there's a couple ways to heal your units. Go to a city. A city not only gives you more money per turn, but the city also can heal your units. If you move your unit within range of the city, within one hex, then click on the city. You can click on your unit and heal the unit. And this also includes healing helicopters. If you are far away from a city, you can use your helicopter as a support to heal your units. A helicopter cannot heal another helicopter. Alright, I'm going to show you a cool strategy that you can use on Beach Retreat. I designed the map, I know the strategies. Well, some of them. Anyways. Blue versus orange. The blue side is probably a little bit easier to play than the orange side just by the nature of the layout here. But I'm going to show you a cool little strategy that you can use for the orange team that will help you quickly expand and maybe even get the upper hand on the map. So very first thing, we're going to take our soldier and we're going to glide him right over to this little spot right here behind the city secret little cove area. Anyway, so he's right there in spot, in, in place. So now we're going to start moving our tank up to a neat little location. So here comes the here comes the enemy. Ja, da, da, da. I'm going to move my tank up, and you'll see where I'm going to move him to in a second. Almost there. And blue has another move. Great, now I'm going to move the tank right here. If I move the tank right there, you just notice that he's in within his long distance firing range of both the helicopter pad and the city. That's an incredible advantage right there. That means he can, if, if the other team were to capture any of these buildings, he could just sit there and drop their life, drop the building's life down, and then the soldier could come in and capture that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot this city. Boom. The city's life has been taken out. Use my soldier. Capture that. Good. Next, I'm going to shoot my helipad with my tank from there. Boom. Now I'm given, I have a couple options. I, I don't have any money to do any special moves right now. However, I still have two moves left. And now something I have to be very concerned with, aware of, is that the enemy could very easily swoop in with their soldier at any time and capture a city if the city's health is zero. So you want to make sure that you don't end your turn with a building's health at zero. You want to begin your turn with a building at near zero and be able to capture it before the end of your turn. So I'm going actually I'm going to move this tank up here, right next to it, and just use my last shot just to uh, start his health down. Eight, because that was his last move, whatever. 
Those tanks are moving in down there, but that doesn't really make much of a difference to me. Because it'll take some time to take that city down. Now I have a, I have enough soup I have enough money to fly this guy up here. Ooh. Ooh. Jump. Nice little jump there. And I'll because I just used him now, he doesn't have his he doesn't have as much firepower as the tank would, because I have not used the tank yet, so I'm going to use the tank again and tank. Two times fire that and take that down. All right, so now the base is at 45. So let's be careful here. We're getting close. So let's use two right there, 24. All right. Then let's use one right here. I don't think it'll be 21. It's 19. That's awfully close. But now I can just very easily just use one. Now use the soldier and capture that. And now I have access to both the helipad and the city. And if I move my tank back here, he's now back within firing range of both the structures. Now it's just a matter of um, saving up some money to building up the units, but you already own you own the most critical structure of this map, the helipad. With the helipad you can create the helicopter and control the tanks. And a city too, so I can get some money per round. So yeah, it's a good beginning strategy for this sea islands, tiny islands. Entry, entry, entry.